Hello, Pre-K family, and welcome to another edition of Herd's Home Room. I am Heather Hurd, and I am your family partnership and school support advisor. Today is August 22nd, 2022, and this is the second week of school. How did it go the first week of school? Were your kids tired? Were they excited? Could they not wait to go back the next day? Well, we are so glad that you chose our program, and we are also so glad that you are listening and tuning in to Hearts Home Room. Now, what is Hearts Home Room? Hearts Home Room is designed just for you guys, the parents, the adults, the guardians, so that you will know what is going on in pre-K. Anything that happens or takes place in pre-K, the Division of Early Childhood, we will let you know through Herd's Home Room. Now think back to when you were in school. Now for some of us, mm, that was a long, long time ago. But for many of us, it was just a few years ago. Well, when you went to Home Room, you got your information, you got schedules, you got events, you got activities, everything that you needed to know that was happening in school, you learned in, in your Home Room. So that's what Herd's Home Room is all about. You're just gonna sit back and listen, I'm gonna teach you some skills that your children may learn for the week. We're gonna have some Dollar Tree finds. We're just gonna have a good time for a few minutes and we're gonna learn. So you're learning, your kids are learning, everyone's learning. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, last week I talked to you guys about your family engagement specialist. That is your FES. Every one of you all, you have a FES, a Family Engagement Specialist. And what I need you to do, I need you to build a relationship with them, get to know them because they are your support. They are the people that's going to help guide you through our program. Now, there's some things that you're going to have to do with your FES, like a family partnership agreement, a family needs assessment, because see, we're trying to support you. We're trying to help you. So when they come to you and ask you to fill out this information and they ask you about, you know, we need to know this, we need to know that, please, please, please talk to them when they text you or when they call you or when they send something home. They need your support and we need you to support them. Also, if your child is absent, that's who you're gonna talk to. You're gonna let them know, hey, my child is sick today, they're not gonna come in, or they may even just call you just to see what's going on. So if you have not met your family engagement specialist, don't worry, they're there, they're coming. But please, please, we encourage you to build that good relationship with them. Now, one thing that we used to do last year was Dollar Tree Fonds. Everyone loves going to the Dollar Tree, right? I know I do. Now, the Dollar Tree has gone up to $1.25, but that's okay. It's okay, but hmm, there's still some good stuff in there. Now, there are a couple of things that I found in the Dollar Tree this week that I wanted to share with you that you could purchase to help extend your child's learning. Now, one thing I found was this dry erase board. This dry erase board has a dry, a dry erase pen that you would use and let's say you can practice writing letters, you can practice writing shapes, you can practice writing their names. It also has the dotted lines and that is a good technique to use. When I used to teach kindergarten, I taught my students that the bottom line is the grass, the dotted line is the fence, and the top line is the sky. So when you're making a capital letter, you're gonna start from the grass and go to the sky. Well, let's say you're making a lowercase letter. You may start at the grass and go to the fence. Sometimes you go from the grass to the sky when you're doing upper, uppercase letters, um, lowercase letters, I'm sorry. But either way, we wanna practice good handwriting and what better way than to get one of these boards. Also, simple shaving cream. Simple, easy, maybe a little messy, but it's a lot of fun. Spray it on the table. You can use it and do it in the bathroom, the kitchen table, the dining room table, because it's gonna wipe up, it's gonna wipe clean. And write a letter, write a number, write a shape. There's so many different things that you can do, and it's a lot of fun. Your kids are gonna have fun. They're playing, but they're learning at the same time. Spray it on the table and say, hey, make me a zero, 
or hey, make me an A and let's see what they can do. All right, now, one thing we do here in pre-K is we do on the road to kindergarten. So in the past, we have always started talking about on the road to kindergarten and we start around April or May. Well, this year we're starting now. So we are going to be on the road to kindergarten for the whole year. So every month we are gonna focus on different activities, different skills that are going to help you and your child get ready for kindergarten. Everyone should have received this backpack. Now, if you have not received this backpack yet, it's okay because this is coming from your family engagement specialist. See, that's why you need to learn your family engagement specialist. And this is our transitioning into pre-K backpack, backpack. And so inside, there are several, several things that are gonna help you help your child be successful in pre-K. Now, everyone gets books. So there are assorted books. You might not have these particular books, but everyone has four books in their transition to pre-K backpack. Now, one thing that I do want you to know is we're going to start building your child's library. So pretty much any event that we host, we're always gonna give you a book because we believe in the the foundation of reading. So in your backpack, you have four books. Also, you have a pre-K family engagement guide, and we're gonna dig into that in the upcoming weeks, but what I really want you to focus on is this book right here. This book right here, and it's called Kids Learn, Getting Ready for Pre-K. Now, this week, we are gonna focus on the introduction part, which is like a gold color, and they're it starts on page four and it goes from page four to 12. Also, we're going to focus on week one, which the theme is rainforest. And there are various activities that you and your child can do in this book. So this week, we are going to focus on the introduction and week one, rainforest theme. But there's so many different things that you can do with this book. Now, hey, don't just give your child the book and say, go for it. You have to be involved. You are gonna have to sit down with your child beside you and you all do it together. That's what it's all about. They're going to learn from you. You are going to teach them and you guys are gonna have so much fun. So don't just hand them the book. Work with them, do it together as a family. All right. Now, let's move on to the skills for the week. On your screen, you will see the skills for the week. These are the things that your child will possibly do in their classroom this week. Take a picture, look at it close, because I want you to know what is happening in your child's classroom. Also, on the screen, you're going to see the books for the week. Now. I have also put the links on there. So there's YouTube videos where you can do a read aloud, read aloud if you don't have this book. But the good thing about it is your child is gonna read the book in the classroom at school and then they can come home and you can pull it up on your phone or on your computer or your tablet. So the first book is called Friends at School. Really cute book by Rochelle Barnett and Bunnett, I'm sorry, and this book is a book that your child is reading this week, as well as A Splendid Friend Indeed by Suzanne Bloom. This is another book that your child is reading, and Owen, one of my favorite books. This is another book that your child is reading this week in the classroom. So on the screen, you see the YouTube links where you can do the book at home in the car, on the computer, in the tablet. Ask them questions. Talk to them about the book. Here's another good way to build that relationship with your child. Now, on the screen, you're going to see the nursery rhyme of the week. Now, our nursery rhyme for this week is Do Your Ears Hang Low. Do you guys remember that song? Well, that nursery rhyme, I won't sing it to you because 
I'm not a great singer. However, that is the nursery rhyme for the week and I also put a video link in there so you can watch it at home and you can sing along and you can dance and have fun. Do your ears hang low. All right. On the screen now, you see Ready Rosie. Ready Rosie is your parent curriculum. Your child's curriculum at school is called Big Day, but Ready Rosie is the curriculum for you guys, the parents. And in Ready Rosie, we have videos, we have trainings, we have a lot of games. It's just so much in Ready Rosie and it's free. So you can use Ready Rosie on your phone, you can use Ready Rosie on your tablet. It's just really, really easy and it's fun. So it's something that I need for you to sign up for if you have not done so yet. Your family engagement specialist is gonna send you that link. There's the FES again. They're gonna send you that link. And when they send you that link, sign up because I think I might have some, some Ready Rosie pop-ups sometime in the near future. But you've got to be able to have that act have the access to Ready Rosie. So please be sure when your family engagement specialist sends you the link for Ready Rosie, please, please, please sign up. Now, on the screen you see conversation starters. What are conversation starters? Miss Heard, I talk to my child every day. We talk in the car, we talk at home in the grocery store. Yes, that's great, that's perfect. But conversation starters are what I want you to really focus hard on. I want you to move away from the answers that lead to yes and no, or just one word answers. How was your day? Good. Are you having fun? No. They're just simple questions. They, you ask the questions, they give you one word and that's it. Move from that to what was the best part of your day? And they'll say, well, I went outside and I went to recess. Well, what did you do when you went to recess? So you see you're building on the questions that they're, that they're giving you and they're not just one word. So here are our conversation starters for this week. Talk to your child. Get that good dialogue, dialogue that back and forth exchange. I wanna hear what's going on. All right. Also, I have something called Weekly Home Connections. And this comes from your child's curriculum. It looks just like this, but what we have done is we have created a Herd's Homeroom parent page. And so this is the Weekly Home Connection for this week. So it talks about the letters, the sight words, the numbers, the color, everything that I told you in the skills for the week. This is your um, Weekly Home Connection. Now, the good thing about it is we have created a link for you to click on this and you can download it and print it off. And so that link is also going to be in the email that was sent to you with Hard Time Room. And also we have our sight word readers. So this is just a little book that you can cut off. This one is called Making Friends because that is the theme for this week. And it says, my house is red. And you see how I touched each circle? My house, and that is a picture, that's not the word, is red read. That is how we are teaching them how to read in the classroom. And so this is something that you can print off and make at home and it's their own little book. Cut it off, staple it where you see the staples and you're making their own little book. So this is something that is also going to be on the link for in our Herds Homeroom parent page. All right. <sighs> Giveaways, you guys rocked last week. I know last week I said I was gonna give 40 beach towels and beach bags. I had to give just a little bit more. So expect your gifts this week. Your family engagement specialist is going to deliver them to you. Again, that's why it's important for you to know your family engagement specialist. On the screen, you're gonna see Herd's trivia for this week. So. Be sure to answer the questions. And if you are part of the first 40, and I might be a little lenient, but I'm gonna say the first 40 right now. If you are part of the first 40, then you will receive an awesome and amazing gift. It's just too good, I couldn't even show it to you today. But 
How are you gonna do that? You will receive an attendance link, which is on the slide now. The attendance link is where I'm gonna capture your attention, attendance, so that you get credit, your teacher gets credit for attending Herb's Homeroom. And then you answer my Herb's trivia, submit it, and the first 40 will receive a prize. All right, a lot of people have liked and subscribed to our channel and if you do, you will always be the first to know when we drop a Herd's Homeroom video, when we do a pop-up, because we are known for doing pop-ups. We love just surprising you guys. So if you like and subscribe to our channel, you'll be the first to know when everything is happening and taking place. As always, I like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On the screen, I like to shout out and thank these special people who have helped me do her home room. And I also want to tell you, thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sending your child to our program. We appreciate you so very much. With that, her home room is over for the day. Go out and be great. Until next time.